This is the higher NAB Unit 2 Outcome 1. It's on polynomials and quadratic theory. We have two questions to, to answer within this outcome and it's worth eight marks. You require five marks to pass. Um, I would expect that you'd achieve more than the five for the questions that are on show here. I'm going to do one example of each and uh, I'll run through them relatively quickly. Here we go. So first question. We've got show that uh, x minus 1 is a factor of f of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x plus 6. And then we're going to factorise it fully in part 2 out of 5 marks. Let's go for the first one. Okay. So part 1, what we're going to go for is I'm going to look at this part here first of all. I'm going to show that this is a factor. Okay. So remember a factor would be like that equals 0. So what I'm going to be looking at is a root of x equals 1. When I'm looking at this type of question, I know it's a polynomial question, and I'm going to use synthetic division to try to work out my answer to this one. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a synthetic division working table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write down this in full first of all, so you, so you can see that there are a, there's a, a kind of pitfall in the middle here that could be a problem to us. What I've got is here I've got f of x is equal to x cubed and I've got plus 0x squared minus 7x plus 6. So that there could have been a problem to us if we didn't spot it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the coefficients. So that is a 1 that's sitting in front of the x cubed. So I'm going to bring a 1 down to here. I'll then have a 0, I'll have a negative 7, and I'll have a 6 there. Okay. What I've got here is I've got the, the 1. So it's the 1 I'm going to do the synthetic division with. Remember how we do this. I'm going to bring the, the 1 down to start with. Then I'm going to multiply these together to get 1. I'm going to gather these up here. Gives me 1. 1 times 1 will give me another 1 here. Gathering these together, negative 6. 1 times negative 6 to get my answer here will give me negative 6. Gathering these together, that gives me 0. So all I would normally do is just box that up like that there. And I'd say that that wee bit there is equal to my remainder. So to finish off with uh, the, the question here for, for part 1 to show that x minus 1 is a factor, what I'll say is that since... The remainder equals 0. I'm going to say first of all with that there, x equals 1 is a, and I'll call it a root, and then the bit that I've been asked to do, x minus 1, is a factor. Okay, so that's, that's part 1 complete. I'll move on to part 2. And part 2 I'm asked to factorise f of x fully. Right, so let's now write down the f of x function first of all. Okay, so that was x cubed minus 7x plus 6. What I know from that already is that I know that that there is a factor. That was the first part that I had to work out. So what I'll do is I'll start by substituting that in there. What I'm going to get also is from here, this part here is the quotient. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put that in a bracket down below here as well. It's going to be a larger bracket. That started with x cubed, so this one here is going to be 1x squared. So it's going to be x squared. That there is going to be plus 1, and that's plus 1x. I'll just write the x in. That there is minus 6. Okay, so what I've got is I've got, uh, I've got one factor and I've got the rest as a trinomial. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to factorise this trinomial. I'm going to put it into two brackets. And the way I'm going to look at it, x squared, what can make x squared will be x times x, if I think of foil. What can make 6 with a difference of 1? Okay, that could be, can't be 6 and 1. Uh, must be 3 and 2. So I'll put a 3 here and I'll put a 2 there. Looking at the signs, that, that sign's a negative sign. So one of these is a negative, one of these is a positive. If I look at this sign here, the plus tells me that the biggest number multiplied out is going to be the positive, and that'll be a negative there. 
Well, that looks as though that's, that's that question complete there. Let's move on to question two. Okay, question two. What we've been asked to do is we're going to use the discriminant to determine the nature of the roots of the equation 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. First thing that I can see from there, from that equation is, if I have to use the discriminant, um, I know what that looks like. So the discriminant is, and remember it's the b squared minus 4ac, and the letters there correspond to the coefficients from the equation up above. So up above I know that this number here, a, is going to be 2. So that's where I'm going to get the a value from. b is going to be the next coefficient, which is minus 4. And c is going to be equal to 7. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just calculate the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, and that should tell me something about the nature of the roots. Okay, let's substitute our values in. So for b squared, I'm going to put minus 4 in the bracket, and it's squared. Okay, that's from there. Minus 4 times a, which is 2, and for c, it's 7. So I'll just multiply this out now, so that should give me 16. Positive 16 minus 4 times minus 4. That'll give me a positive 16. And from here, I've got 4 times 2 is going to be 8. 8 times 7 is 56. And I've got a minus sign in there. So that's uh, 56. Gathering that together, that gives me a minus 40. Okay, so, so I've worked out what b squared minus 4ac is equal to, or the discriminant. It's minus 40. And then I'm just going to make a statement, and that should complete the question. So since b squared minus 4ac, right, I know it's minus 40, but that would tell me it's less than 0. So minus 40, negative numbers being less than 0, I'll say that there are no real roots. Make sure you state the, the word real. That's an important one. Without that, if you state that there are no roots, you will not get the mark for that question. You need to make sure that you state it all. Right, so let me go through the marking scheme for this. I'll go through the marking scheme for question number one, first of all. Okay, so to mark this one up, what I'll go for is the first mark I'm going to get is for writing this line out here. Okay, the full line there. So I need to make sure I've remembered the zero that gets placed in there. My second mark is going to come from working out this part here. And my third mark, my third mark is going to come along from, let's see, getting the statement. So I'm making a statement. So the statement would be that since the remainder is equal to zero, what I've got is I've got x minus one as a factor. I've got a further mark here for making sure I've got that uh, trinomial stated. So I've brought the, this through from here. And finally, for getting all of the factors stated at once. So that must be stated in the final answer. So that's going to be out of five marks. Right, finally, let me try for uh, marking out question number two. Okay, so for question two, what I've got is for writing out and knowing the discriminant. So there's going to be my first mark that I'm going to get there. My next mark I'm going to get for the calculation that I've done. And finally, for making the statement, and I would say since b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, there are no real roots. Okay, so what this will be, this will be a marked out of eight. So the question one out of five marks, question two out of three, and you require five to pass that. Okay, good luck.